pretty much every night now, I come out to the front porch with my glass of wine. I drink red wine now apparently because it's supposed to be healthier or something. I don't know. I used to drink white wine, but made the switch. Um, so anyway, I come out to the front porch, I sit, and I really just enjoy looking at the nature. And I noticed lately there's these giant grasshoppers, and I love just observing them and watching them move. And it's so interesting because I was sitting out here the other morning, and I noticed there was a bird running across the street. It looked all joyful and happy leaping across the street quickly. And then I looked down and right in front of me there was a giant grasshopper slowly crawling on the pavement. And it was so interesting to see these two creatures. One of them was jumping across the road quickly and the other one seemed like it was struggling to move. And I looked at that and I can see how we, I thought about us as humans, how we often compare ourselves to, we see people and on the outside, they look like the bird who's easily, quickly going across the road. And then we feel like we're the cat, uh, we're the grasshopper who's slowly just inching forward. But at the end of the day, I was thinking, both of them get from point A to point B, one of them just takes longer and slower. And maybe that's okay because maybe we, should sometimes be like the grasshopper. We're gonna get to our final destination anyway, but maybe it'll take longer, or maybe we will have some bumps along the road. It's interesting to sit outside and observe nature and have these observations and thoughts that I see in the creatures around us. It was funny, I was driving from here in Tampa to St. Pete and there's this bridge that you go across and I was at a stoplight about to go across the bridge and I realized there was a giant grasshopper on the hood of the car just stuck and I thought he would jump off or I thought maybe if I turn he'll fly away in the wind well it turns out I went across the entire bridge going really fast wind was blowing I was kind of swerving trying to get him to jump off and he would not budge and I saw him slowly go across and I had this realization and he was stuck on the, the car for so long I had no idea how so I guess they're really, they really stick onto surfaces. So that got me thinking about how we should be like that in whatever we want to do in life is just be resilient and hang on despite the wind is going to come try to knock you down, the car is going to try to swerve, but he hung on all that time. And it was so inspiring to me. I was like looking at this grasshopper thinking, wow, he's really hanging on. And then he seems so unfazed by being out in this really dangerous environment. He could easily get squished, he could fly away. But he was fine. He seemed to be just holding on and slowly doing his thing. So I loved that. So it's been really interesting to see these grasshoppers now thinking, wow, these are strong creatures and they hold on. And sometimes they're very cautious and careful in what they do, but they get to their final destination. So yeah, I just wanted to share some thoughts, sitting on the porch, enjoying, it's kind of getting hot, but enjoying the last of the nice weather, I guess, before. Because in Florida, apparently, this is my first summer living in Florida, but I hear that it just rains all the time, randomly out of nowhere, and it's it's been happening lately. I was driving the other day and it just randomly started downpouring. It just comes out of nowhere. So that's fun, so <laughs> just getting through this disgusting weather and yeah today's my little brother's birthday so we're gonna go out to dinner and celebrate his birthday and I need an RCA and a Bluetooth adapter. <laughs> I just visited Oxford Exchange today, guys. Thank you so much. Um, it's My creative experience is just so upheld in this Oxford Exchange. <laughs> yeah, that was Mikey making fun of my vlogging <laughs> skills. He's like, your videos need some energy. So we're at Walmart now. be devastated if they don't have this. I guess it would be like around here. So what's the purpose of this thing? 
It's so I can uh, plug and have my Bluetooth headphones go through my wired mixer. So Def Mikey, what are your not. thoughts on living a creative life? Oh, I thought you were gonna like say something super <laughs> political or something. So how is your new mic setup gonna help you be more creative? Um, it'll let me like stream more. Like that'll help a lot. And I guess that's creative because you're like putting yourself out there and like being weird. Being weird and for the internet. expressing yourself, yeah. So where can people find your- Oh gosh. Oh, do you, do you not want oh, me to like gosh. advertise your stream? Ugh. Twitch? Pe people have to find it naturally and organically on Twitch. Okay, so you're not promoting it? No. Okay. All right, so Mikey's streaming career begins tonight. Okay, probably be by speakers. All right, so we found the Bluetooth attachment. I hope so. So then that piece will enable your headphones to work. Is that right? That's the idea. Hopefully it, so my headphones work, but hopefully it lets the headphones connect through the mixer. Oh, the mixer, which is this thing. Okay. 